Hey guys, it's Hayden here from LEGO Productions, and in this episode, I'm going to basically explain to you everything that happened on this mock in about a month. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So I'm sure you guys are confused about basically what has happened, because I was unable to make updates on this mock like I was supposed to, you know, once a week or whatever. And the reason why I couldn't do that was because I was in such a rush and I was getting so much done that every time I filmed an update, which I think I only filmed one though, um, I had gotten so much progress by the time it was ready to be uploaded that it became outdated. And then I also reached a point where I was so rushed that I could not have time to film at all. But before I get on with the rest of this video, I gotta give a shout out to William. He helped with some of this mock, so uh, there you go, William. Also, just heads up, uh, William's new nickname is Bill, so on William's next video, go ahead and comment that. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and just get right into this video, and I'll show you each technique individually. So obviously I put down all the plates and a lot of 1x2s on this mock. I still have some more 1x2s to do, but I have put down uh, the majority of my 1x2s. So it looks very nice, the train detail is looking very good, and I'm really happy with how that technique is turning out. Another little change that I made is um, I made these little ponds here, and there's actually two of the ponds and I surround them with the plant pieces to make it sort of more a rugged transition and I used black and dark green 1x2s to represent the darker water. And there's another pond way back there as you can see right now. Here's the cliff wall for you right here and this technique turned out really great. I love how the wall turned out looks very natural and the rock work really just turned out as good as it could be and I just overall like it. It took forever to build. That was the hardest part by far just getting that many rock pieces on such a tall cliff and so it was fun though. I liked building that. And then underneath the rock work I have a sort of strip of the dark tan and some other colors mixed in. One by twos to sort of continue on with the smooth transition between the rock wall and the ground below. I have some trees scattered throughout. These were all just prototypes built super quickly for the convention that happened yesterday. And most of those trees were actually broken on the way home because those trees are just too hard to travel with. But I think that tree turned out really good. The rest were kind of uh, just so-so and I will definitely be updating the trees later on. Right there you have Yoda's hut. Uh, it looks really nice actually. I put it together super quickly the night before and it is not sturdy at all but I think that it actually turned out pretty accurate because the sort of broken down rugged look actually represents the real hut really well. And there's the coastline, I covered it up with dark green and then black. And actually I have a question for you guys. Would you like to see the random placement of the Transclear studs? Or would you like the dark green and black but with black 1x2s on top? I actually don't really know what I like better. I think I actually like the black and dark green best just because it contrasts with the rest of the mock really well. But I'd like your opinion so comment down below. Would you like the studs or the black and green? So there is also the uh, coastline or riverbank, whatever you want to call it. And that has actually not changed that much. I just added some tan 1x2s. I'm going to add more. That was just a last minute addition. But I think it looks pretty good. I like the medium nougat color, how it contrasts really well, even if it isn't the most accurate. On the back side, I do have the cave, um, but it's not complete yet. Um, it's covered up and the rock work is done back there, but I just haven't added the detail yet. And I can't really get a good view in there because the UCS Falcon is blocking the view. 
So I know this is kind of a confusing mock series. I hope you guys understand that I couldn't do the updates, not because I didn't want to, just because I didn't have the time and I didn't want to spend effort on video making whenever I should have been spending all my effort on actual building. And also I want to say that this mock is still very far from being complete, even though it is displayable and it has gone to a show already, uh, I still do want to add a lot more detail. So that means that there will be several more episodes covering basically the plant work underneath, more 1x2 detail, and whatever I decide with the, uh, the water technique, and then I still have trees, vines, just the cave, and then also mini figs and things like that. But now zoomed all the way out, I basically just want to appreciate this mock, and I think that it does look really good. I'm very confident that this is my best mock yet, and hopefully it will continue to look even better as I add more to it. So that's about all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and may the force be with you.